Hi there, Cosmic Family. My name is Jezleal in this incarnation. So today I wanted to talk about dreams. Um, it's important to know that uh, the soul never sleeps. When we are going to sleep, the soul travels to the astral plane, which is the fourth dimension. I already uh, told you about this in, in the video of dimensions. So um, it's very important to understand this process because it could be a very useful tool uh, to <clears throat> look for information, to ask for information and apply that information to the material plane, which is the um, material reality. Uh, that reality is actually um, real too. <laughs> so uh, it's very common that when, for example, we are, uh, I don't know, we are going through a, a tough situation in a nightmare and we uh, can transcend that, it's very uh, common that we can transcend that in the material plane too. Uh, but many of the dreams are like uh, advertisings. Uh, everything that is happening in our life, actually we are advertised in dreams, uh, even if it's something good or bad uh, from our human perception because no, no, there's no thing good or bad here, sorry. <laughs> Um, and if we have to choose one, uh, it's better to choose to see uh, everything as good, everything as an opportunity. So um, there's uh, this protocol from Kabbalah that uh, gives like tips to do this travel uh, with more consciousness uh, because it's very important the thoughts we are having before we are going to sleep. Uh, when we are sleeping, uh, we are at the point of, of um, getting asleep. So um, what Kabbalah says, and I've been practicing this for a long time, I have a very, very uh, profound contact with the onir plane since I was a kid. And that's uh, the main channel uh, in which I communicate with my guides. Uh, there's uh, other things that I described in other videos too, but uh, vid um, videos, but dreams are the most um, the most important channel for me, and uh, I was given through them a lot of information, and now I can um, make difference if they are uh, collective dreams, if the dreams are uh, of my own life, or maybe mm, there there were some dreams that uh, were for people. I didn't know uh, what that information uh, was about and I only transmitted to them what I had to transmit and it, every time it, it made sense for them. So um, I, that's the, my, my principal channel. So people that don't remember their dreams uh, could be because they don't use that information or they uh, they they don't give value to them. So if we start to, uh, I think, um, to be more aware before we are going to sleep uh, of that information, uh, I think uh, the the ideas will listen more. We are we're going to be able to remember more. But uh, there, it's common that m many people have more this tendency to remember, and it's more difficult to others. It's okay. Uh, you can practice this, and then you you tell me later how how it functioned. So um, it's important to say, Carl says actually that uh, the, the the bed could be uh, contaminated with um, negative thoughts. So it's very important, and I think this this one uh, all of us did at least once. But it's very important to not um, have negative thinking before we are going to sleep. So, uh, and uh, I think that's the time that uh, many of us choose to to start to worry about something. Uh, but uh, it's not the correct. It's not a good time. So what Kabbalah says that is that uh, we have to prepare, and uh, we have to uh, analyze all the things we did in, in along the day and to separate the, the ones we did uh, okay, we act okay, and the ones that uh, we can improve. So we let the things we can improve for tomorrow. We, uh, we don't have more, more time of the day to do that, so uh, we, we leave them for, to, for tomorrow, sorry. And um, 
then we uh, free ourselves uh, from worries um, in that moment. Then we go to sleep. And when we go to sleep, Kabbalah says that uh, it's important to uh, sleep with clothes. Uh, many times, uh, most of all, the chest, the, the chest covered, because um, it's important to know that in this travel, in the astral plane, we have the low astral, uh, which is a place with entities. <laughs> uh, it, it's like um, if every part of this world has this. Um, darker songs so uh, when we uh, are traveling and we are looking for information i'm going to explain the protocol to ask for a, a question to our soul something that we want to solve and it's important for us and uh, the soul can travel to the higher dimensions to the um, part of us that is uh, almost in um, uh, imperfection uh, it's the most perfectly perfectly fractal of us and uh, the soul can collect information from there and bring it to us but um, the, the, the travel is uh, between dimensions so uh, when the soul comes back have to uh, go through all the those dimensions again so uh, maybe uh, in the astral plane, if a soul has information that comes from light, uh, these entities see this thing like uh, light, light simply, and they want that light, even if it doesn't serve for them, because <laughs> that's information that only serves for us, but they want it and they, we could be attacked. <laughs> so uh, Kabbalah says that it's better to, to uh, sleep with clothes but I don't know you can uh, choose whatever you want <clears throat> and um, what what is more important it is about this um, these worries because uh, when we um, raise uh, our energy our vibration it's more difficult to contact to uh, these entities and this is Mm, mainly true <laughs> because uh, when I was in my mm, uh, I mean my profound uh, more profound transformation period um, uh, years ago I was uh, leaving uh, uh, alcohol in those things I was leaving uh, behind many practices that weren't good for me I had a lot of uh, entities attacks not only in the astral plane but uh, in the immaterial plane too and I had a lot of dreams with demons and, and things like that and I was attacked many times and with attack I mean uh, they can attack you uh, sexually too um, when we have uh, weird, weird dreams with uh, people and, and we have uh, re, um, weird practices, sexual practices and we can experiment pleasure but when we get up we are like totally drained and without energy we uh, we get up more tired than, than we when we uh, went to sleep well that was um a sexual attack from an entity so uh in that process i received a lot of attacks because um i was living like um a lot of dark parts of myself and I was given, I was uh, food for them <laughs> at that time, so they didn't want me to uh, cross to other world, you know, to the conscious world. Um, so mm, that's why it's, in, it's important to um, raise our vibration before we are going to sleep. No, uh, it doesn't care uh, how was the day, but we can uh, choose to um, our thoughts before we are going to sleep and that uh, will help with the dreams later. Carlo says that um, this information uh, could take 40 days like the Ten Commandments <clears throat> because um, the soul has to travel uh, for those uh, dimensions and to come back through those dimensions. Uh, but for me, um, many times uh, it came in a lot of less days. So you can practice that and, and see it by yourself. 
Um, actually, many times I had the, the answer in one day and I heard many stories about that with other people. But what it is important is that all the answers will come, of course, in symbols. So, uh, Kabbalah says it's uh, not very uh, good to tell dreams to other people, uh, at, at least um, to people that you don't have the assurance that they love you. Uh, this is what Kabbalah says. Because uh, some people can... Um, like put their energy in your dreams and if they are for example uh, things that you think they are good from from the, our human per perception and um, they could uh, influence with their energy uh, and, and modificate things I don't know uh, I I don't tell my dreams because uh, most of them are for my own personal um, journey uh, but many times I, I did told, told them after, uh, for example, after they, they happened or uh, I in the video of transhumanism, I told you about a dream um, which was futurist, but that dream is a collective one. So I thought uh, it was good to, to tell you, um, but usually I don't do that. So um, it's not very productive to tell them either because all this, uh, the symbols uh, are going to be symbols that you understand. It's not a codification for everybody understand many times. Uh, but there are general things that um, we can find. I have a lot of uh, training in that right now. So um, I know how uh, symbols operate in my dreams very good. And uh, many times I, I can see um, how they operate in, in dreams of others. But they are specifically things that uh, only come, uh, you know, for you to understand. Uh, I'm trying to think an example. But maybe when you are dreaming with a person that uh, has an appearance of other person that is connected, for example, and that's a thing that only you know uh, what it means because uh, you know w what relationship you had with that person or, or what that person signifies uh, to you, means to you. So um, that's a, a very simple example, but there's a lot of things that are only for you to codificate. So this is very important because we uh, we could think that uh, there's no rational thing, but there is a connection in every symbol matters, every feeling, every symbol, everything you are seeing, colors, smells. I, well, I dream like a, a film, <laughs> actually. I can smell things and taste and everything and feel. So, um, okay. It's important that when you uh, wake up, you uh, write. You write the the, the dream. Uh, this part maybe be, many people it's a, a little bit lazy, but uh, for me it's the most important part because since I've been writing them and, and this was a, a, a few years ago, um, they uh, become more clear and I understood many things and many of them now I am having days uh, day to day you know I dream what will what could probably happen because I um, already noticed that I can change uh, many things too uh, that's why I'm saying they are advertising but uh, many times we have the power to transform our reality so I am dreaming uh, day by day what is happening in my day. <laughs> but uh, a few years ago, for example, I had a dream, I don't know, in January and it, it could accomplish in September, for example. So for me, uh, it was important to write them because um, you won't remember every dream, every dream you have. And I have dreams every day. <laughs> So um, I use the cell phone because uh, if I had to read in, in, in write it in a paper, uh, I had a, like a, an entire uh, bookshelf. <laughs> so uh, for me, this part is the most important because that's uh, when you are telling uh, your brain, your body and your soul that uh, that information cares and uh, that it's important for you. So 
maybe if you don't want to write every dream you you have, you can um, be uh, aware when you are asking your soul specifically something. Uh, then I, I suggest to you that you you put on a on a paper or write it on your cell phone. So um, this is the protocol to to ask for things, and the solutions come many times. Um, we can hear ourselves too to uh, understand the solutions, but uh, it's a very very useful tool. It's a very useful thing to understand many things in this plane. And uh, about lucid dreams, I didn't practice that much that, but I, I could um, change um, some recurring dreams that I had once that, I, that there was very, uh, you know, zombie attack or tsunamis or uh, I, I had them all the time and um, I could change it uh, through lucid dreams but um, I don't have a special protocol for that. Many people uh, choose to um, look their hands before they are going to sleep and going to, to, uh, to sleep with that thought of, of they can control it and many times I, I could uh, change other things about the the dreams so you can practice that too i use it more for uh you know answers and and things that i information that could be useful for me so well i think i told you everything <laughs> if you have many questions uh, you can leave them on the comments thank you everybody and see you tomorrow ciao ciao